last time on Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? Do you... Do you hug, Hakakure? Here, come on, I'll hug you. And now, back to trying to ditch school. Do it. It'll turn out okay. Ugh, last time we took the trial and I messed up really badly in lots of things. And I think I'd break because my hand was hurting. It was about an hour long, but. Ugh. What? Ugh. Hopefully. Ugh, we can hit this through this this time. I was, I, was, I was close both times, but I can't save here, unfortunately, so... Okay. I refuse to give up yet! Give me 10 hearts, I think that, 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 that two bullets really helps. But, can't do anything about that right now. Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? What? What do you want? Are you sure about this? Go, go, go! Are you sure about this? Come on, alright, come on, come on. Are you sure about this? Sure, I guess. Are Oh, right, right. Go, 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 go. things helps a lot. Oh, brother. Mm. Oh. I refuse to give up yet. We'll try it, I guess. Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? What? What do you want? Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? Go, go, go! Are you sure about this? Um. Ah! What? what do you want? 
Yes. I'm not listening. Oh, damn it. I had it. Oh, I had that times. Is this really the end for all of us? I refuse to give up yet. Hit that time too. Here, my hand. Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? about this. Kyoko's talking about is the lights. Get me what, what are you talking about? Oh, what about the lights? Like I said before, the bio lab also acts as a morgue. I think I hurt my, I think a little bunch of, hurt my arm for some reason. Yeah, get some exercise. And as part of that, a giant refrigerator was installed in there. That's where everyone who's died is stored. And it was set up so that when a slot had a body in it, a blue light would turn on. In other words, if the blue light is on, that means there's a body in that slot. Yep. But I counted up the number of blue lights that were on including the one Mukuro was in. And there were only nine. Nine. Why does that matter? You gotta give me the bite-sized version here, man. Well, but you're... Nope, print... Yep, you're... Start... You start counting here, Hakurei. Number speed, eight, six, ten. I got it. Ten of the lights should have been on. Any other number is incredibly suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Oh, we're very fast. We say we're fast. Mm -hmm. Don't pass that part. That's simple. Just recall who's died here so far, and it should become clear. That's right. That's the key to solve this mystery. Sayaka died first. 
Chico was second. Leon was third. Jahiro was fourth. Mondo was fifth. Taka was sixth. And Hifumi was seventh. Celeste was eighth. Sakura was ninth. And stem number 10 was Mikuro. Hmm. So 10 people in all? That's right. Any other number should make you immediately suspicious. Yep, yep, yep. But according to the lights in the bio lab, only nine people were being stored there. You're saying a dead body just up and disappeared? Yes, that's what we're saying. I got it! The mastermind destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of evidence. But if they wanted to do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body, since they actually killed him. And yet, her body was left alone. Then, whose body disappeared? Yep. It may very well be that none of them disappeared. Well, if that's true, then why doesn't the body count match? Including Monokuma's executions, there have apparently been ten deaths, but there were only nine bodies. That's the point I'm trying to make. Yeah, it's my sm it's, it's my sly smile again. I'm completely lost. How can the number of victims be less than the number of murders? The real reason there are less bodies than murders It's PlayStation for more murders than victims Why is that? Well, it takes like, sense Online murders place, the best mind's for body Seems killed twice I got it! What about if the same person was killed twice? Killed twice? Officially, ten murders have been committed so far. But one of the victims may have been murdered, and then murdered again. Murdered and murdered again? If that's the case, there could have been ten killings, but still only nine victims, right? Technically, you're right, I guess. But still, something like that could easily have happened. No, it is what happened. Sounds like you're already convinced. Then can you tell us who was killed twice? It was Mukuro, of course. Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, she was killed as someone else. And that's why the body had to be stored in the bio lab until the moment we found it in the garden. No, 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 that's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else? Come on! Well, come on, oh, come on, man. Not like... She's not a Highlander. She can't be killed. She's not a mortal. Or is he? Ooh. Besides, who could that someone else even have been? All you have to do is look at those bodily injuries of hers, and that will become obvious. Nothing's gonna become obvious! Because Kyoko's totally delusional! Is this someone else that Mukuro was killed at? Was it Sayaka Maizono? Junko Enoshima? Leon Kuwata? Chihiro Fujisaki? Mando Owada? Kiyotaka Ishimaru? Hifumi Yamada? Celestia Lu... whatever? Or maybe... Sakura Ogami? No, no, no. 
There's no way anyone was murdered twice. Oh. Oh, did I put that? Oh. Who is this someone else that Mukuro was killed at? Was it Sayaka Maizono? Okay, let's see first. Junko Enoshima? Leon Kuwata? Chihiro Fujisaki? Mondo Owada? Kiyotaka Ishimaru? Kifumi Yamada? Celestia Lu... whatever? Or maybe... Sakura Ogami? No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered twice! <laughs> oh my god, really? Ah. Who is this someone else that Mukuro was killed as? Was it Sayaka Maizono? Junko Enoshima? Yeah. Leon Kuwata? Chihiro Mando? Kiyotaka Kifumi Celestia Lu? Or maybe... Sakura Ogami? No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered twice! No, this won't. You're wrong! Junko. Wasn't her fatal injury pretty similar to Mukuro's? What do you mean? You were there, Ashina. Remember? M remember? Well, remember what happened to her? She was impaled by a bunch of spears all over her body. And Mukuro died from a number of wounds across her body. When you compare that to the stab wounds Junko suffered, can the similarities match? Yes. Yes. And those are the only fatal injuries that match up. That explains why those two bodies are actually one and the same. So let me see if I have this straight. Junko, or someone going by that name, was stabbed to death with multiple spears. Then her body was kept in the bio lab for however long before being dragged out again. Only this time, it was presented as the corpse of one Mukuro Ikusaba. It all matches up, right? Those wounds Junko suffered could easily be these same injuries. Then, it's really true? Mukuro and Junko are the same person? Got it, Hakuri. Wait, so then... What does it all mean? You had it, and you lost it. It means that there haven't been ten victims, but nine. Which also means that among the people we thought were dead, one is still alive. And that's the true identity of the Mastermind? Who is it? Who's behind all this? We already know the answer to that. It's Mukuro. She's still alive. She took Yugo's body. And made it look like she was the one who died. So Mukuro is still alive. She's gotta be. Oh, man, I'm just uh, sure. A little we... silence. Then I must be right. I'm right, aren't I? Mukuro. Alive? I'm still alive as Mukuro, but I don't really believe that. No.
profile. The body we found in the garden. It wasn't Mukuro. Then she's still alive? That's right. She made it look like Junko's body was her. So the mastermind's true identity is Mukuro. What do you say, Monokuma? Do you give up? Hmm. Hmm. The body we found in the garden. It wasn't Mukuro. No, that's wrong. No, the body we found in the garden was Mukuro. That's one thing we can be sure of. The body's appearance and measurements are consistent with her records. Yep. Her hair looks different. That's a very, that's a very bad profile picture. Right, Kyoko? She was 5 foot 6 inches tall and weighed 97 pounds. Her vitals were 31, 21, 32. Everything in her profile is consistent with that corpse. And then there's the matter of the Fenrir tattoo. So there's no question it's her. But if Mukuro's not the mastermind, then who's actually still alive? We said that, man. We told you in, in that debate battle, remember? Someone made it look like they're dead, but they're actually still alive. Who could it be? Who's the wound? Who had the wounds? Here's my answer. Junko is one. still alive. It's the only possibility. Are you sure about that? This is Mitagami saying you're wrong. Huh? I admit, since Mukuro is undoubtedly dead, Junko does seem to be the only other explanation. But we saw her get impaled. She died right before our very eyes. If Junko were still alive, the death we saw would had to have been some kind of charade. But you yourself confirmed she was dead, did you not? Yes, I confirmed the the but the five kingdom drink was dead. How do you mention it though? I gently place my hand on Jinko's lifeless body. I touch for it's check for a pulse like they do in the movies and stuff, but she really is dead. I have to say, she was gone. I check absolutely. I can say for sure. She was dead. There's no question. Junko was dead. So, the idea that she's still alive. It must be wrong. Then you're withdrawing your previous statement? <laughs> I know you gave it your best shot. But too bad! I guess your conclusion was a dud! Unlike me, I'm a stud bear! <laughs> too bad! Too bad! This case hasn't been decided just yet. Uh -oh. You haven't given up already, have you, Makoto? It's just my, it's my sly smile again. Giving you, giving you hope. Huh? No, of course not. There's no way I'd give up that easy. That's all well and good, but how do you intend to solve the problem standing in your way? Junko absolutely died. Mukuro absolutely died. Then both of them are dead, right? There can't be any kind of survivor story. I think we need to look at this from the opposite direction. It's SpongeBob's opposite. It's, 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 it's SpongeBob's opposite day. The opposite direction? 
Let's assume Junko is still alive. If so, how could she have survived? How could Junko have survived? I checked her. She was dead up sure of it. But still, if she were alive somehow, it could be that Junko's not the one that died. It's not Junko, but someone else entirely. Maybe she put some kind of trick. The rep replaced. L, come on, L, come on, L, come on, L. There. A, 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 A. D. Come on, D. Thanks, hey, Bell! Now I understand. That's it! What if she switched places with someone else? S switched places? That's right! Before the spears could kill her, she got someone to take her place! Specifically, Mukuro Ikusaba. Then that would make it Mukuro's corpse that showed up later. Which is why the body's height and weight and everything match Mukuro's profile, right? I don't know anything about the switching places thing, but... That had to be Junko who got stabbed to death, right? Yeah. You're saying they switched? When could they even have done that? Right when she was uh, about to die? Like she used some kind of ninja replacement technique? She went all Naruto. She went all Naruto on us. Good point. There's just no way they could have switched like that. Maybe the whole idea is wrong. I'm not wrong. You're wrong. Got to be some way. I'm gonna figure out where this what the deaths at the beginning. What was it? It's at the beginning. I got it. The two of them may have switched places from the very beginning. What? From the beginning? Yes. From the moment we first met. If that's when they switch. Then they wouldn't have had to switch at the moment of death, right? Lots of pink pets of abysmal blood. After all, the one we saw at that point would have already been Mukuro. Uh, hold on. So, you're saying the Junko we first met? Wait, hold on, Mon, hold on! I can't... My head can't get around it! It's... Ah! Is actually Mukuro all along? Then... We'd already met her? <coughs> I had, like, a <coughs> normal conversation with her. When we first met, none of us knew who anyone else was. So Mukuro could have simply told us her name was Junko. And we never would have known the difference. Nope. That would easily allow the two of them to switch places from the very beginning. But Mukuro had a tattoo on the back of her hand, right? Yep. Junko never had any tattoo like that, did she? 
She could have hidden it with foundation or something like that. If she did, it likely melted away in the explosion, exposing the tattoo after the body was extinguished. Plus, there were the fake nails found on the hands of Mukuro's body. They were the same fake red nails she was wearing when we all met for the first time. But if she really did use foundation... Foundation? Correct. Even if there was no tattoo on her hand, I couldn't say for certain it wasn't Mukuro. So I'm glad nobody noticed that glaring hole when we were trying to figure out who attacked Makoto. But too bad for you, Monokuma. You can't deny it anymore. Eh? Wait, so... this whole thing was a setup from the very beginning? Yep, yep, yep. I'm glad he got it. That's true. It was quite an elaborate plan to be sure. Making it look like Mukuro was Junko. Yeah. The reason such an elaborate plan was possible is because the two of them were working together. So Mukuro, the ultimate despair, teamed up with someone like her. In other words, it would be fair to say that Junko herself was also the ultimate despair. Yep. What's wrong? Lost the will to fight back. I think he's just afraid. <laughs> afraid? What's that mean, afraid? Afraid? Fear is only possible where hope is possible. I only have despair, so fear is an alien concept to me. Then why haven't you been saying anything? Because it's a bunch of nonsense. Junko's my secret identity. And my clock can't. <laughs> As if. <laughs> then why did you try and protect Junko's real identity? Not me. I tried to protect your identity. When did I do that? When, 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 when? So he, so he still refuses to admit it, but he can try to see us all he wants. Doesn't matter. Because I already figured it out. I am a smart, smart boy. He tried to hit Hajiko's identity not, not just once, but twice. First time was during that latest investigation. While I was in the AV room, watching the DVD of our interviews with the headmaster. This is the monitor. The DVD player itself had apparently turned off. Of course, the DVD wasn't playing anymore. But what the heck just happened? Ooh, oopsie! Like it broke! Out of service! What, is this what happens to break now? Now, now, then, when, doesn't matter if the is breaking it anywhere anytime! The fire is right! <sighs> you made sure I couldn't finish watching the video. And the reason you did that... ...is because you didn't want me to see the real Junko, did you? Oh, yeah! If everyone was in that video, of course Junko would have had to show up. And if Makoto saw the real Junko, it would have been totally obvious that the Junko we met was an imposter. The bad yep. whole power outage thing was just a fluke. Oh, my God, getting desperate. It wasn't a fluke. Method mind definitely orchestrated that power outage. Time he tried to hide the Junko's identity. I try to grab one other piece of evidence. I gotta reveal that. Like if I save it fast. It's like taking an hour of doing this again. 
First time with like two heart, two or three hearts. The video wasn't the only thing you tried to cover up. You did the same thing with this group photo. <sighs> uh oh! I noticed it just a little while ago when we were all comparing the photos we got. In all the photos, there's a certain similarity. An unusual circumstance. But what's so unusual about them? Says uh, that all these pictures. Uh, there. Okay, back turn. Back turn. All right, all right. Junko's face. I got it. Junko's face. The one thing common to every single photo is that you can't see her face. It's hard to believe her face would just happen to be hidden in every single picture, don't you think? Don't you think? And on top of that, in this photo, you can see that Mukuro is clearly visible. So in other words, at that point, the two of them hadn't switched yet. With all that in mind, yeah. there's no doubt that the girl whose face is hidden here is the real Junko. Which is why you had to have pictures that didn't show her face. Because if we could have seen her face, then it would have clearly revealed that the Junko in the pictures wasn't the Junko that we knew. Xanadu! I'm cursing you out for some reason. I believe everything Makoto said is true. Junko and Mukuro switched places before we met either of them. So she killed Mukuro, who had taken her place, making it look like she died, and the real Junko is still alive. And she's the one behind this whole murderous situation, this killing game. She's the true mastermind and the ultimate despair. Oh, and there. times two! Ooh, how do you not find Kuma? With this, the identity and the crimes of the mastermind have been exposed. No, no, wait! Hold on! Don't bother trying to deny it. There's no more room for debate. You don't have anywhere left to run. I'll prove everything right now. It's comic book time. Uh, yeah, you'll have to be if I'm in the main hall.
here. Da -da. Get rid of his body. something what was it the knife the knife the last snap att att attack me who's gonna stop them I still have much money in my room. the mask after I took it off. They, uh, uh. uh yes. Let's do that one. By from the garden. because it got blown up. Yep, there it is. The killer is you! Oh, there we go. We met the ultimate fashionista, Junko and Oshima, right after we all arrived here. But that wasn't the real Junko. The girl we saw before us was actually the 16th student who had taken Junko's place. And that girl's name was Mukuro Ikusaba. But it wasn't long before she died at the hands of Monokuma. In other words, the mastermind, Junko and Oshima. Oops, mass. Her body was kept in a bio lab, which had been converted into a morgue. Until Junko decided to put her body to use. Peek. Junko dragged the body out of the bio lab, using the tarp to carry her to the garden. She fabricated the murder to try and frame Kyoko, who proved to be one big thorn in her side. Meanwhile, she wanted us all to think Mukuro was still alive and hiding somewhere inside the school. Yes, got so right. She put on a mask and then attacked. After making sure I'd gotten a good look at the mask, she left the room. Then she put the same mask on Mukuro's body. This was all to make us think the person who attacked me and the corpse were one in the same. She wanted us to believe the murder had only recently taken place. Finally, by strapping a bomb to the body, 
she was able to destroy any remaining evidence. I, I, get, the, I get that right the first time the, for once. She needed awesome. to hide the body's true identity. She had to make sure we didn't find out it was actually the same person we'd met in the beginning. This is the truth behind Mufaro's murder. And the one who carried it all out is the true mastermind. The one controlling Monokuma. <laughs> ah! The real Junko and Oshima! She's scared. She looks surprised and scared. No! That's the whole story behind this incident. Well, what do you have to say to that? Yep. 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 What? Are you broken again? Get out of this, so don't even try. Don't even try. Come on! It's time you finally revealed yourself! Hmm? It's not like you're an endangered species or something! How long do you plan to keep hiding? Hmm? Give it up, Junko. The game's over. Hmm? Yep. Over. <laughs> Did you really think the story would end once we reached the climax of the case? Wrong! There's still plenty more to go! What? There is? Uh-oh. What's up? What's more to go? Queen is here. What's gonna happen next? Find out in the ultimate conclusion of Dying the Robot Trigger Happy Havoc. If you, help, if you wanna help me make better videos, check out my Amazon whistles on Patreon, please, or just my just you can help with the uh, give, uh, algorithm, little comments and subscribes and, and likes helps too. But, but uh, join me for the conclusion of Dr. Rupert Trick Happy Havoc. Never stop learning and try the randomness. I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>